here. Introducing first, in the blue corner, coming out of Paris, Clover! And he's a bullet across the ring. Pairing out of the smooches. Macho. All right, fellas. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. What does an in-fighter need to do to be successful, Teddy? Well, first of all, Joe, get inside. That helps. But the other thing is, once you get inside, you see guys so often, they smother themselves. They forget that they need a little room. Rotate your shoulders back a little bit. Create room. Take a little step back if you need to. Good block by Clubber. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. He missed with that headshot. Hands up, Now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Scores up top with a left. Nice strike after catching one by Macho. Glover's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Good flush shot upstairs. Back to the body. Lover's attitude in that last round really paid off. You saw he was the much busier fighter. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Good step back counter punch there. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. An accurate left by Macho. Now he missed that right. Macho's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Halfway through this round. Keep it up. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. Top with the right hand. Little head hunting with the left. That's an impactful right hand by Macho. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Clubber. Macho's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. You gotta bring it to him, kid. 
number three is underway. Keep moving, keep moving, move, 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 keep moving. A stabbing right hand by Glover. Glover's doing a beautiful job here early on of counter punching. Yeah, it's gonna pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counter punching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Macho. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. to the halfway point of this third round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Like what I see in there. Oh. Scored well up top. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Scored well with that straight left. Okay, listen. When he misses. Lovers out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Come on, kid. Go. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Two snapping jabs by Clubber. Missed the body shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. There's the old one-two coming after him. Well timed by Glover. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. He brings it right back. Big shot upstairs. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well targeted right hand by Glover. Glover is able to avoid that punch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Macho. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. And round four comes to an end. Macho's in position to win this fight. Trust me when I say that. It's a close fight. He may be trailing. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Time. I warned you about your head. That's one point. He's tired. Good looking jab there. And now you see him scoring well with the right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Lover's got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your shots and land them. So you hear the saying when people say, do you know what time it is? You have to know what time it is. He knows what time it is. He knows when to throw a certain punch. Turns the 
favor with a right hand of his own. Halfway into round number five here. Keep pushing! Macho's showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Punch! Punch! Clubber's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Clubber. Downstairs with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That's a stinging right hand by Glover. Macho's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gets angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricep all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. The start of the sixth round. Clubber's got to be thrilled with what he was able to accomplish in the first half of this fight. And as we start this round, clearly he wants to keep things in the same order. Well, part of the testing of anybody being successful in anything, in boxing and anything, is how do you handle prosperity? We're going to find that out right now. I know that sounds like a good problem to have, but does he get carried away with himself? You know, does he get a little cocky? We're going to see. That was a miss by Macho. Right to the head and right to the canvas. Get on your feet. 